On the next frontier, SpaceX has taken a remarkable step forward in its quest of creating a completely reusable and swiftly deployable rocket. Our Kim Xiong explains. SpaceX's fifth Starship test flight saw success on Sunday as the returning first stage booster of the company's mega rocket was caught by the mechanical arms of its launch tower, achieving a world first engineering feat and a groundbreaking step towards the company's quest for rapid reusability of its rockets. The Starship rocket, with a payload capacity of up to 150 tons of equipment or a crew of 100 people, had its fifth test launch at SpaceX's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas, where the rocket's first stage super heavy booster lifted off at 7.25 a.m. local time on Sunday. After reaching an altitude of around 70 kilometers, the first stage booster separated itself from the spacecraft after sending the second stage rocket towards space and began to make a gravitational return to land. On the way down, the Super Heavy booster relit three of its 33 Raptor engines to control the speed of its descent back to the SpaceX's Texas launch pad before the 146-meter-high launch tower's two large mechanical arms called Mechazilla by the company's founder Elon Musk caught the booster, achieving what a SpaceX spokesperson called a day for the engineering history books. Elon Musk's SpaceX wants to develop a rocket that can one day take humans to the moon and later to Mars, meaning a fully and rapidly reusable rocket would be a great advantage in sustaining limited resources. U.S. space agency NASA has also invested some $2.8 billion in SpaceX to develop the Starship into a space lander capable of sending astronauts to the moon's surface by 2026. Kim Xiong, Arirang News.